So here's part three of my training, guys. If you haven't watched part one and two where I'm doing my squats and kind of my fluff uh, isolation calf ab workout, make sure you guys check those out. But this was pretty much the first day I did Romelio's and then it was a snow day for me. So I decided to pretty much do my entire training. This was the first time in a while I actually threw in some occlusion training because I haven't had the equipment to do so. So shout out to my professor, Paul Lubers, if you're watching this. He's hooked me up with some some wraps for a while. I need to stop being so stingy and actually order my own from like Rogue Fitness or whatever. I actually found some, so I'll probably be doing that soon. Um, but if you guys aren't familiar with occlusion training, uh, I'm not going to get into all of the mechanisms and things behind it in um, this video because it's a pretty short video and honestly I'm not well rehearsed in it yet. Um, essentially what you're doing though is restricting venous blood flow and what they found in a lot of research and I'll, again I'll post a lot of links in this video so make sure you check out the description box. What they found is essentially that they're getting hypertrophy with very very light loads. So as you can see on there this is a leg extension with 25 pounds and if you do this properly that 25 pounds feels like 250 pounds by the end of this. So the protocol here uh, I'll probably post on the, uh, on the screen somewhere. Again, it's going to vary a little bit with the with the um, the study you find. So some studies are going to find a little bit different rest periods and things like that. How big of a difference is it all going to make? I'm not sure. You know, it's all kind of the same concept. You know, you're you're wrapping, you're restricting that blood flow, and you're using very light loads. But a similar protocol is, is what I use today. Again, it may differ a little bit from study to study. But what I used today were was 30 reps to begin with, and then a 30 second break, 20 reps, 30 second break, 20 reps, 30 second break, and then 20 reps. So it's a total of four sets. Your first one's at 30, and your final three are 20 reps. You can really do this with anything. So I'll probably do some other videos. You know, with like I've used it on my biceps before. I'm definitely going to try this out on my hamstrings as well, probably this week. So you can you can usually use this for like uh, the study that it, it's happening at my at my university right now, they're using it on like compound movements like squats and and uh, bench press. So you can use this on heavier movements as well. I've just chosen to use it on more of isolation stuff. You know, it's definitely a secondary thing. This isn't my bread and butter of my routine. Um, but like I said, it's it's definitely interesting. I'm not going to come out and fully endorse it just yet and just say it's going to turn you into you know, a professional bodybuilder or whatever going to change your life. But like I said, their research is promising. Uh, like I said, I'm not the one who's a specialist in this by any means. So I will leave that to the people who fully understand it and direct you guys to them. But um, this may be kind of like the self-masochist in me, but like it's fun. Like it hurts really bad, but this is a really fun way to train and this whole set took me about six or seven minutes, this whole kind of superset thing, you know, with only 30 seconds in between. And you guys will notice, like, this that was just my second set, and it's starting to get to me. Um, and then after that third set, you kind of have to, like, go to another place. Like, it's it's really painful. Um, and, not, not, and again, not saying that, like, just because your, your workout's painful, you're going to make gains. Like, by no means is that's what I'm saying. Um, but like I said, it's it's fun to, tr to train like this. It's different. It's exciting. And like I said, the research is there. I've said that about 10 times. So, uh, you know, Lane Norton's talked about this a few times. I've even seen Alberto Nunez do it a few times in a, a few of his videos, mostly on like upper body stuff, which is probably where I need to use this more than anything. Um, I, I can't believe I'm blanking on this guy's name right now, but his first name is Jeremy, and he's from the University of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And he's the first person I really saw talking about it. And I don't want to say he's like the father of it because I believe this has been around for a very long time with like physical therapy and things. But he's the first person like in the bodybuilding community I really saw talking about it. Um, it's His last name starts with an L. And wow, I'm sorry, man. I can't remember your name. But um, I can't remember it. I just don't want to mispronounce it. So Jeremy L is the person you really want to talk to about this at the University of Oklahoma. And yeah, this was just, it was painful. But uh Again, I'll probably be using this on just my hypertrophy days. So, you know, just a few times a week. Again, it's not going to replace my heavy squats, my heavy deadlifts, heavy presses, things like that. Um, but like I said, it may give me kind of the advantage over some people that aren't going to use this kind of stuff. And like I said, it's 
Um, if anything, it's just really fun to do. And more, as more and more research comes out, it'll be interesting to see how this actually compares to some of the more heavy traditional stuff. So give it a shot if you're interested. Again, I'll post a whole bunch of uh, information down below for you guys to really get educated on this because I don't really feel 100% comfortable talking about it because honestly, I don't 100% understand all of the science behind it. So I'll let you guys talk to the people who do. So that's the complete series, guys. Here's the full routine. It looks pretty damn high volume, and it is pretty high volume. Like I said, oh, it took me about 90 minutes because I superset some things. You see there with like a 4A, 4B. Um, that's it, guys. Make sure to like the video. Go subscribe to my Facebook